Okay, now we are recording. Okay, so everybody that can, everybody in class, this is for everybody in class, everybody that is virtual. We are going to begin working on right now architectural landscape painting. Yalitha? Architectural landscape paintings. And as you can see here in the slideshow that's rotating, these are examples of what architectural landscape kind of look like. You can do interior or you can do exterior. So that chair painting that you see in the inside of the room, that will be considered interior, right? You can choose to set up a scenery like that one with any subject matter you want. It can be any object that you want inside of the room. The exterior are the ones that you see now popping up. The architect is showing, the building is showing, or like the old vehicle, an old truck, an old historical um, building inside or out. The key word that I'm using right now is old. We are creating like vintage style paintings for this assignment. Okay, guys? So any object that you choose, like here's the old truck, old model. I want you to find an old historical building or automobile or set up your own scenery inside a room of some vintage object, old lantern, um, any object actually. And you can find a lot of, if you're deciding to do interior, you can actually go to the thrift store and find any kind of vintage item and set up your scene, right? So that's what we're doing. Now, you might have to maybe drive around Texarkana if you want to, to find old vehicles that's sitting in someone's neighbor in their yard. Get permission if you go on their yard, however you can take a photo from the street and use that to draw and then paint it. Or you can look at the files that I have on Google Drive under this assignment on Google Classroom and choose one of those photos for your assignment. The photos that I picked are from Pixabay and I have that in the description for you. Uh, Pixabay are royalty free photos that you can use for your painting without getting sued, okay? And they have to be royalty free or when you try to sell it or use it, Somebody can say, oh, this person didn't have my permission to use my photo because photography is a form of art, right? So you want to be careful with that. The best paintings are your own photos. You, can, you own them. You own your own photo. You own your own painting at that point. So let's recap what your expectations are. As of tomorrow, Everybody should email me or put on Google Classroom their photo reference that they took by themselves or the one they're going to use from my collection by tomorrow, March the 3rd, before 3 p.m. Then from that point, we're going to begin doing our sketch. I like doing thumbnails because it works out the problems that I might have as far as perspective is concern as far as the focal point so I like to do sketches first right and a lot of y'all like to do sketches that's good so turning your sketch by the end of the week on the canvas that you're choosing you can do uh, pretty much any size over 12 by 16 it cannot be under the size 12 by 16 so a small eight by 10, no. A small nine by 12, no. It has to be 12 by 16 or larger. 
Everybody get that? Yes. Okay. Draw it on your canvas by Friday before 3 p.m. In the description for this assignment, all of the deadlines are there. If you miss the deadline, you're, you're getting points deducted by five to 10 points. So don't be late, okay? I want to be able to help you and give you critiques. And so if you submit things on time, I can do that. But if you don't, I cannot. That goes for in-classroom kiddos. I need you to follow the deadlines. Shoot me a picture or bring your art up to me so I can see it, give you a critique. Making sure your perspective is good. Notice that when you're looking at the buildings here in the photos, we can see the front and the side and the rooftop. These need architectural. This needs to be three-dimensional. I should not see just the front of your building only. I need to see the sides or the rooftop because that's what we're doing. You need to have a landscape behind it. Notice the truck, have the grass, barn in the background. Excellent photo to use. Love the perspective of that one because that truck is like in front of you and then it looks like it's large to small as it goes behind you. So think about the perspective even when you're taking your photo. You can use any medium you want. You can use acrylic, you can use oils, you can use coffee, you can use um, egg tempera, you can use watercolors. Whatever your heart desires for this painting project you can. Painting is the key word. No markers, no color pencils. You are in painting class. At this point, if you are out of paints at home virtually, you need to be going to get you some. Um, simple as that. And let's see, um, what am I missing? I think that's about it. If you have questions, you're going to email me or ask me the question. So today, everybody's working on finding on Pixabay, or, or even if you already took photos, the photo that you're going to submit to me either today or tomorrow by 3 p.m. Okay? Any questions in class? All right.